it seems like every other day there's a brand new company propping up and coming out and saying we're going to build an electric truck. Yeah, you guys, you may have noticed that the names have grown and changed in some cases. Yes. And yes, of course, we all know about the Tesla truck, but there are so many other companies out there that have just sprouted and in some cases very recently. Yeah, and in this video, we're going to count them down. Top 10 brand new electric pickup trucks company and existing companies that are promising electric trucks. And let's hit it in alphabetic order. Sounds good. And we'll start with Atlas. Atlas Motor Vehicles. They came on the scene oh, a year and a half ago, recently, maybe yeah. a couple years ago, yeah. as a very small company, and they're currently based, I believe, out of Arizona. Yeah, in the United States. Yep, Ari United States based. And recently, they have made some crazy claims. Their, their purpose is they want to build a heavy duty truck, mm -hmm. and they're showing a dually mm -hmm. version of it, and it said it could potentially go about 500 miles. That's right, and charge in 15 minutes? 15 minute charge. Wow. And also tow anywhere between like 10, 15,000, maybe even more, uh, 15,000 pounds or more using a gooseneck hitch or a fifth wheel. That's right. They're talking about having a single speed gearbox. They're working on the proprietary battery technology yep. uh, that could charge very fast, like you said, uh, 15 minutes, uh, which is kind of unbelievable. And there's no prototypes we've seen, it's renderings. And the, and the one that come to market in 2020, they're still stating that, that at the end of 2020, within a year or so from now, yeah. they will have something on the market on sale. Next up is Bollinger, and Andre has a ton of experience with this company. So here it is, the B2 pickup truck. This is a production-based prototype. And this is an active production space. The guys are working around the clock almost to get these done for a September unveiling. And the size of the truck is, I think, the interesting part. Let me show you. So it's sitting here on a jig, and the wheelbase on the pickup truck is actually 20 inches longer when you compare it to the four-door SUV. And it reminds me a little bit of the Jeep Gladiator, but the Gladiator is more of a mid-sized truck. What this is, is a full-size truck because it's much wider and I'll show you in the bed right here. Between the wheel wells in the bed, it's about 49 inches. So you can put a 4x8 plywood or a sheet of plywood in the bed and it'll have a mid-gate. Well, I was fortunate enough because I was there in New York City when they first unveiled the B1. Right. That was a two-door. They called it a sport utility truck, all electric, all aluminum, uh, from ground up, built up as a very boxy classic design. Boy, boxy is really serious uh, in yes. this terms uh, because if you look at it, there are very few curves, very few curves in this truck. Maybe the steering wheel? <laughs> steering wheel, no. <laughs> some of the wheel arch. But the thing is, is that despite the fact it is very boxy, yeah. it kind of has a, a old school Land Rover very, look to it. Uh, yeah, very endearing, right? Very, very nice. It's a big vehicle. Yeah. Uh, and the, once again, heavy duty intent, mm -hmm. over 10,000 pounds of gross vehicle weight. Right. Um, and some pretty crazy specs also, up to 20 inches of ground clearance, very right. off-road worthy. Um, dual uh, low range, sway bars, disconnects, uh, a lot of stuff. They're right. based currently in Michigan. Right. Once again, U.S. based company. Mm -hmm. Starting price, 125,000. Yeah, um, now we don't, but that was for the regular one, right? The B1, what about the, was that the B2 as well? Yeah, same price. Okay. And, uh, and Robert Bollinger was at the Layout Show, right? They mm -hmm. were showing their vehicles there. And they, they're still, their goal is still to be a small company, not mass producing them. You know, they mentioned between 1,000 and 2,000 trucks a year they want to sell. So next up is an established company, gigantic company. What is it? General Motors, so Chevrolet and GMC. Now, here's the thing. Chevrolet has been kind of mum on this whole thing up until Ford made their announcement that they're building an F-Series EV. And shortly after that, General Motors said, oh yeah, we're gonna be doing it too. And they wanna build it in 2021, around the same time the Ford F-Series EV truck comes out. And others. And yeah. others. Yeah. Recently, at the 2019 SEMA show that Andre and I got to go to, yeah. actually half the crew went to, yeah. they brought out a fun little concept truck. It's a 1962, it started out as a C10, but they have two Chevy Bolt electric vehicle powertrains 
sandwiched in here. So under the hood, where there used to be a V8 engine, there are now two electric motors and total horsepower is 450. And under here, under the tunnel cover, there are two separate 60 kilowatt hour batteries for a total of 120 kilowatt hours. And it's a beast. It has ridiculous power and speed and supposedly decent range. Yeah. It might point the way to not necessarily this upcoming EV truck, right. but a EV vehicle slash smaller pickup truck perhaps in the future. Chevrolet 2021, they'll have an EV truck according to them and it will be built in Detroit. Yeah, and uh, there's another juicy uh, part of rumor here mm -hmm. that it may not be labeled as a Chevrolet or a GMC. It may be labeled as a Hummer. Okay. That's a rumor. I, I know. But, but I'm excited by that. <laughs> I know. Well, if anybody's going to be excited by Hummer news, it's going to be you. It's Hummer time. God, you can take that any way you want to take that, folks. <laughs> Um, let's move on Ford. though to Ford. Another very established company. Extremely established. Yes. Now, a couple big things with Ford. Now, recently, their Maki, 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 Mustang, Mach E, whatever you want to call it, electric. An, an electric SUV that has some design cues from the Ford Mustang, but otherwise is an electric SUV. The thing is, that has very little to do, I believe, with what they're coming out with. That is going to be something very different because mm -hmm. supposedly Ford will be using a lot of the technology that is initially supplied by or developed by Rivian. Which, which is also on our list. That is correct. Yeah, yeah. Now, that would be a skateboard platform. You want to tell them what a skateboard platform basically is? It's a chassis, uh, frame, mm -hmm. suspension with batteries right. and motors. And that's everything is on a flat plane, battery pack, and everything else is on one thing. It almost looks like a chocolate bar if you were to look at it on the side. Or a skateboard. Or a skateboard <laughs> with the wheels and the suspension and everything else. But it's all there, and all that weight is down low. Now, they haven't officially said, and nor will they admit to. Any specs. Any right. specs, right. and or if they're even using this in their F-Series truck. We don't have any technical specs, but if you recall, a little while ago, what about three months ago now, mm -hmm. Ford made a video where one of their EV prototypes, prototypes towed a million pounds, was it? No, it was just 1.25 million. 1.25, I'm sorry, uh, it's a Ford. Train. It was <laughs> sorry. a train. Um, they wanted to kind of whet your appetite. It was very smart of them, I thought, to do that because it got the information out there. You guys now know that Ford is serious about developing. And it was a, a marketing stunt, you know, granted, but still, you're it, absolutely it, right. And, but it was a smart idea because a little bit of buzz goes a long way. A lot of you guys still remember that video. So we know that it'll have a ton of torque, um, but that doesn't really say much. Next up on our list is something, a company called Hercules Electric Vehicles. So this is uh, basically, they're taking existing trucks, like a GM heavy duty truck, right? right and stuffing it with electric components, right? Mm -hmm. And they're claiming crazy numbers too, like a thousand mm -hmm. horsepower. And 300 plus miles of EV range. Now the thing is, is that Hercules is being pragmatic about some of this approach because they already have a platform that they can use if they're using a GM platform, right? But if you think about what the other competitors are doing out there, they're building lighter trucks or they're building trucks around a battery pack. By building something that has a frame that's already attached to it and everything else, they're gonna save a lot of time and money. But at the other side of it, maybe it's gonna cost them with weight. But according to them, man, they've but, got some serious stuff going on. I mean, look at these numbers here. 10,400 GVWR and a 12,500 pound max trailer towing. Thing is, is that most trucks can tow an awful lot of weight. It's a question of how far can they go towing a yeah, lot of weight. Yeah, and there is a big problem. Yeah, we, mm -hmm. we, have, we have a separate topic uh, discussing it. The question is, can you find a device, something very simple to hook up to a trailer in order to regenerate a little bit of that power? Yes. Andre is going to invent that real soon. And I'll be a billionaire. Yeah. Um, next up on our list is Karma EV. So Karma yeah. was at LA, LA Auto Show as well. Yes, right? they were. So they showed the concept, right? Right. So at the LA Auto Show, near the end of their debut of their other products, they showed a very interesting and I think kind of cool looking EV pickup truck and rendering. Rendering. It, yes, is it just, wasn't a, even it was a prototype. Not even a prototype, not even a model. It was a drawing. It looked cool and their po it looked kind of like uh, out of Blade Runner, like properly. Ooh, their whole burned. <laughs> okay, keep going. <laughs> and their whole thing was um, this is a proof of concept idea. And it's something that they want to put on, and their words, a skateboard platform, hence Rivian, 
and be able to put multiple uh, platforms on top, on top of, it. of it. Sure. And so that's their their tease, and then we'll see where they go with it. But there are no specs available. But anyway, and they did it like several hours before the Tesla unveiling. So they yeah. wanted to kind of capitalize on that day, that particular news. Um, and another company that wanted to do the same thing that day when the Tesla Cybertruck unveiled was, was a new company that was just created recently, right. Lordstown. But it was actually purchased with a company that also owns Workhorse. That's, Workhorse. That, that's been there for some time building yeah. vans um, and uh, some other vehicles and also electric vehicles. That's right. They're actually on an industrial scale if you look at what works. Commercial delivery doing. vans. That yes. is correct. Yeah. And going and, and downsizing to vehicles that are for personal use isn't such a bad idea. Now, granted, I'm not a huge fan of the exterior design of their um, truck. What are they the called? The Endurance. The Endurance. Um, it, at it, least it looks like a pickup truck properly. It does as, look like as, a pickup truck, yeah. indeed. So the reason why it's called Lordstown is because they purchased an old GM plant right. Lord, in Lordstown. And they want to refurbish it, re-equip re it to build this electric pickup truck. Uh, but but we don't have a lot of information about this truck yet. And, and they're saying at the end of 2020, they want to sell it already. That's correct. Now, what we do know is that they want to put electric motors in each wheel. And a lot of these other trucks want to do the same type of thing, right. where they have uh, basically your electric motor inside the hub. Now, there are people out there who say that when you do that, you also are increasing the amount of, uh, the amount of mass that's around the wheel itself. Could and be a problem, could, sure. With suspension, that's yeah. what some people are concerned about, but we won't know until we actually start using these things. And they actually uh, uh, disclosed their starting price of 52,500 bucks for this Lordstown Endurance truck specifically. Right. Right. Um, also, that week or right prior to that, uh, there's another there, one. There's another new company, a Neuron T1. W what is that? Now, the T1 is once again a platform that is multi use capable. So you can put on anything from an SUV, a van. They actually had a really cool looking concept drawing of a van, like a 4x4 four four van. It looked really cool. Like Overlander, mm -hmm. kind of? An oh, overlanding okay. van with a trailer too behind it. Dude. And they also have a pickup truck, a couple different uh, designs for pickup trucks. So when is this going to be on sale? No idea. Okay. Um, okay. The thing so is. It's is a that, prototype at this point. Right. Well, what we know for sure is that in China, recently, within the past day, they actually unveiled a physical mock-up of both the Torque and the T1. And they're going to go to other uh, events in China and, and, show, and okay. show these okay. around. Whether or not this even comes to North America it remains to be seen. This is a market they are very interested in, I can tell you that. Now, there is one thing that's unique about this. Now, yes, we're talking about a platform that's going to be similar with the skateboard or whatever that's, you know, you put multiple things on top of. However, mm. the cool part is they're talking about also having a modular component on it. Now, this is not 100% because they're a little vague in this, but it sounds like part of the power you can actually remove and replace with another one. So, in other words... Interchangeable you, batteries? Interchangeable batteries uh, okay. is what it sounds possibly, like. Possibly, possibly. Possibly. Okay. So, well, that's a smart idea because you don't have to wait to charge a battery, you maybe can replace it and swap them. Especially okay, if, you're, if you're like a company, you know, and all that, and you have like a whole row of a those fleet, things. A fleet of them. Yeah, yeah, and you just pop one in and pop one out and just boom, go. That could really, really be an, a game changer. But we'll see about that. Uh, Rivian is on our list, of course. Uh, Big Riv time. Yes, and um, they came out first publicly about a year ago, 2018 Alea Auto Show. Uh -huh. It seems like forever, but it's just been a year. It's just been a year, uh, right? And of course they have an SUV, RS, R1S, uh -huh. and a truck, R1T. And they've disclosed a lot of information. Once again, they want to come to market at the end of 2020. Right. Uh, with a traditional looking pickup truck, you know, the way it looks. I'll show you the lights first. I got low beam, I got high beam, and I got fog lamp. And then it is an electric vehicle, looks very capable, but I want you to know when you're charging it what the status of the charge is. So our green LEDs are gonna showcase that. Going back to my position light, I can pop up the frunk. So is this kind of a production intent? Production so intent. it's gonna be a power hood. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so think about this. If you're, you're a grocery shopping, you know, not your off-road day, just a normal day going to the store, okay. you got bags full of groceries sure. and things. If I've got a big duffel or a suitcase, I don't wanna to have to set my stuff on the ground to open my hood. So power 
the front, do it off of a key fob, do okay. it from inside controls, okay. and then the same thing, we can power close this once we've loaded up our stuff. I've got 330 liters of storage. I've just got some little hooks in here. Um, we will have different options for what you can configure in here based on based on your need as accessories or anything else. Some clever features. A lot of really cool features, actually. I want to just give a shout out to the guys at Rivian. They've been really good with their PR. A lot of these other guys are terrible with PR, and that's including Tesla. Mm -hmm. But with Rivian, they've done a very good job of keeping us in the loop, keeping everybody in the loop, and progressively giving us more and more information as time has gone on. So, And they have running prototypes testing in the public. Mm -hmm. uh, the recent shots of them testing in Central. America. Right. I'm not sure why they went to Panama, but there must be a reason uh, uh, that they wanted to go there. Because they like Van Halen. Uh, okay. You know, three second acceleration times, 400 miles of range possible mm -hmm. with their biggest battery. Um, starting price is around $69,000. So it's not going to be a, a cheap, cheap truck. No, but I think it's a realistic price. Some of these other prices that I've been hearing are yeah, 50, very 50,000, 40,000. Yeah, 30,000. Yeah, that's, okay. that's unbelievable. So I think yeah. that that's a realistic price. I've sat in the truck, I've, I've played around with it a little bit, haven't had a chance to ride in one yet, but I have a feeling that's going to come soon. And there's a lot of clever features with the vehicle in terms of storage and in terms of where the battery is located and all these other things. So, I mean, people out there truly believe in these guys. Big companies investing big dollars. Big dollars. And they want something in return. Either the platform itself or delivery van like the Amazon wants. Exactly. Right? So they, they want something in return. So, um, yeah, we're going to see some, some good stuff from Rivian soon, I think. Finally, Tesla. I mean, we don't have to explain this to you. The Cybertruck yep. has been unveiled and it precipitated a lot of this, actually, in my mind. I, I absolutely pe pe agree with people you. People wanted to um, actually arrive at the same time. Right. Well, I mean, this is people are going to be able to go on the co coattails of what Tesla's done. Oh my God, I need to do that. There you go, there's a good look of the back of the truck. It holds six people, and uh, some of the more important numbers that we can talk about are starting price is $39,000, but if you want the one that's as fast as a Porsche 911, then you're probably looking at $69,000. If you think about it, I mean, in terms of they just did one event, which wasn't- <laughs> a, a short event. A short event, and yeah. it wasn't even a complete success. They had problems, but they still managed to get so much coverage and all of that media plays to their hands because with Tesla, with Elon, he's like, you know, there's no such thing as bad press. And indeed, it's bringing a lot of people into the fold. Now, some of you guys out there do not like the design. Um, some of you feel that the overall idea behind the truck isn't even that great. And other people out there are absolutely on board and they've you know, drank the Kool-Aid. And they submitted their $100 pre-order. Right, yeah. and uh, we know a few people who've done that too. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, you, you guys all know the specs and the starting price for a Cybertruck at the end of 2021, when it's supposed to arrive, which we'll have to see, mm -hmm. um, thirty-nine thousand nine hundred bucks. So about forty grand. I would once be again, thrilled once again, to see if that happens. It's built out of uh, exoskeleton structure, unibody structure, out of ultra high strength steel. It has batteries. It has motors. How could, are they going to make it for forty grand? I'm not quite sure. It could take a nine millimeter bullet, but not a steel ball. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is your top 10 of latest. Well, not, none of these trucks are available yet. We'll have to do this video again in about a year once we have more real information. Yeah, some serious data and in some cases some actual drive time, which is huge. But in the meantime, keep in mind that we at TFL are quite serious about EVs and once trucks come out, we're gonna test the hell out of those as well. Absolutely, and we probably will buy a couple of them because we buy a project vehicle every year and uh, actually, actually thoroughly test them. I'm gonna beat the crap. I mean, yeah, it's oh, awesome. What? It's gonna be awesome. Okay, and go back to tfltruck.com for more news views and real world EV reviews that are trucks. Holy, hell yeah. <laughs>